the geography, also known by its Latin names as the Geographia and the Cosmographia, is a gazetteer, an atlas, and a treatise on cartography, compiling the geographical knowledge of the second century Roman Empire. Originally written by Ptolemy in Greek at Alexandria around AD 150, the work was a revision of a now lost atlas by Marinus of Tyre using additional Roman and Persian gazetteers and new principles. Its translation into Arabic in the 9th century and Latin in 1406 was highly influential on the geographical knowledge and cartographic traditions of the medieval Caliphate and Renaissance. Europe. Manuscripts, versions of Ptolemy's work in antiquity were probably proper atlases with attached maps, although some scholars aver that the references to maps in the text were later editions. No Greek manuscript of the geography survives from earlier than the 13th century. A letter written by the Byzantine monk Maximus Planudes records that he searched for one for Cora Monastery in the summer of 1295. One of the earliest surviving texts may have been one of those he then assembled. In Europe, maps were sometimes made redrawn using the coordinates provided by the text, as Planudes was forced to do. Later scribes and publishers could then copy these new maps, as Athanasius did for the Emperor Andronicus II Paleologus. The three earliest surviving texts with maps are those from Constantinople based on Planudes's work. The first Latin translation of these texts was made in 1406-1407 by Jacobus Angelus in Florence, Italy, under the name Geographia Claudi Ptolemae. It is not thought that his edition had maps, although Manuel Chrysoloras had given Palestrozzi a Greek copy of Planutz's maps in Florence in 1397. Contents the geography consists of three sections, divided among eight books. Book 1 is a treatise on cartography, describing the methods used to assemble and arrange Ptolemy's data. From Book 2 through the beginning of Book 7, a gazetteer provides longitude and latitude values for the world known to the ancient Romans. The rest of Book 7 provides details on three projections to be used for the construction of a map map of the world, varying in complexity and fidelity. Book 8 constitutes an atlas of regional maps. The maps include a recapitulation of some of the values given earlier in the work, which were intended to be used as captions to clarify the map's contents and maintain their accuracy during copying. Cartographical treatise maps based on scientific principles had been made in Europe since the time of Eratosthenes in the 3rd century BC. Ptolemy improved the treatment of map projections. He provided instructions on how to create his maps in the first section of the work. Gazetteer The Gazetteer section of Ptolemy's work provided latitude and longitude coordinates for all the places and geographical features in the work. Latitude was measured from the equator in Africa but expressed in terms of hours rather than in degrees of arc. The equator was set at 12 hours of midsummer daylight, while the Arctic was thought to have 24. His prime meridian ran through the Fortunate Isles. The westernmost land recorded at around the position of El Hierro in the Canary Islands. The maps spanned 180 degrees of longitude from the Fortunate Isles in the Atlantic to China. Ptolemy was aware that Europe knew only about a quarter of the globe. Atlas Ptolemy's work included a single large and less detailed world map and then separate more detailed regional maps. History, Antiquity The original treatise by Marinus of Tar that formed the basis of Ptolemy's geography has been completely lost. A world map based on Ptolemy was displayed in Augusto Dunim in late Roman times. Pappus, writing at Alexandria in the 4th century, produced a commentary 
on Ptolemy's geography and used it as the basis of his choreography of the Ecumen. Later imperial writers and mathematicians, however, seem to have restricted themselves to commenting on Ptolemy's text. Rather than improving upon it, surviving records actually show decreasing fidelity to real position. Caliphate Muslim cartographers were using copies of Ptolemy's Almagest and geography by the 9th century. At that time, in the court of the Caliph al-Mamam, al-Khwarizmi compiled his book of the depiction of the earth which mimicked the geography in providing the coordinates for 545 cities and regional maps of the Nile, the island of the Jewel, the Sea of Darkness, and the Sea of Azov. A 1037 copy of these of the earliest text and maps from Islamic lands. The text clearly states that Al-Khwarizmi was working from an earlier map, although this could not have been an exact copy of Ptolemy's work. His prime meridian was 10 degrees east of Ptolemy's. He adds some places, and his latitudes differ. C.A. Nalino suggests that the work was not based on Ptolemy but on a derivative world map, presumably in Syriac or Arabic. The colored map of al mamum constructed by a team including al khwarizmi was described by the Persian encyclopedist al masudi around 956 as superior to the maps of Marinus and Ptolemy, probably indicating that it was built along similar mathematical principles. It included 4,530 cities and over 200 mountains. Despite beginning to compile numerous gazetteers of places and coordinates indebted to Ptolemy, Muslim scholars made almost no direct use of Ptolemy's principles in the maps which have survived. Instead, they followed al khwarizmis modifications and the orthogonal projection advocated by Sir Ab's early 10th century treatise on the marvels of the servant climbs to the end of habitation. Surviving maps from the medieval period were not done according to mathematical principles. The world map from the 11th century Book of Curiosities is the earliest surviving map of the Muslim or Christian world to include a graticule but the cartographer seems to have not understood its purpose, starting it from the left using twice the intended scale and then giving up halfway through. Its presence does strongly suggest the existence of earlier, now lost maps which had been mathematically derived in the manner of Ptolemy, al khwarizmi or Sa'ib. There are surviving reports of such maps. Renaissance Ptolemy's text reached Italy from Constantinople in about 1400 and was translated into Latin by Jacobus Angelus of Scarperia around 1406. The first, printed edition with maps, published in 1477 in Bologna, was also be the first printed book with engraved illustrations. Many editions followed, some following traditional versions of the maps, and others updating them. An edition printed at Ulm in 1482 was the first one printed north of the Alps. Also, in 1482, Francesco Berlinguieri printed the first edition in vernacular Italian. Ptolemy had mapped the whole world from the Fortunate Insula eastward to the eastern shore of the Magnus Sinus. This known portion of the world was comprised within 180 degrees. In his extreme east Ptolemy placed Sirica, the Sonarum Cities, and the Emporium of Categera. On the 1489 map of the world by Henricus Martellus, which was based on Ptolemy's work, Asia terminated in its southeastern point in a cape, the Cape of Categera. Categera was understood by Ptolemy to be a port on the Sinus Magnus, or Great Gulf, the actual Gulf of Thailand, at eight and a half degrees north of the equator on the coast of Cambodia, which is where he located it in his canon of famous cities. It was the easternmost port reached by shipping trading from the Greco-Roman world to the lands of the Far East. In Ptolemy's later and more well-known geography, a scribal error was made and Categera was located at 8.5 degrees south of the equator. On Ptolemaic maps, such as that of Martin,
Martellus, Catigara was located on the easternmost shore of the Mare Indicum, 180 degrees east of the Cape St. Vincent at due to the scribal error 8.5 degrees south of the equator. Catigara is also shown at this location on Martin Waltz A. Muller's 1507 world map which avowedly followed the tradition of Ptolemy. Ptolemy's information was thereby misinterpreted so that the coast of China, which should have been represented as part of the coast of Eastern Asia, was falsely made to represent an eastern shore of the Indian Ocean. As a result, Ptolemy implied more land east of the 180th meridian and an ocean beyond. Marco Polo's account of his travels in Eastern Asia described lands and seaports on an eastern ocean apparently unknown to Ptolemy. Marco Polo's narrative authorized the extensive additions to the Ptolemaic map shown on the 1492 globe of Martin Baheim. The fact that Ptolemy did not represent an eastern coast of Asia made it admissible for Baheim to extend that continent far to the east. Baheim's globe placed Marco Polo's Mangi and Cathay east of Ptolemy's 180th meridian, and the Great Khan's capital, Kamdlak, on the 41st parallel of latitude at approximately 233 degrees east. Baha'i allowed 60 degrees beyond Ptolemy's 180 degrees for the mainland of Asia and 30 degrees more to the east coast of Si Peng U. Si Peng U and the mainland of Asia were thus placed only 90 and 120 degrees, respectively, west of the Canary Islands. The Codex Siraliensis was used as the base of a new edition of the work in 2006. This new edition was used to decode Ptolemy's coordinates of books 2 and 3 by an interdisciplinary team of two Berlin, presented in publications in 2010 and 2012. Relevant research on Ptolemy's geography manuscripts and printed editions concerning the geography version's coordinates has been carried out since 1998 by members of the Cartography Group School of Surveying Engineering at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, C.E. G. Selective papers in the web journal Eperimetron. Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus modified this geography further by using 53 and two-thirds Italian nautical miles as the length of a degree instead of the longer degree of Ptolemy, and by adopting Marinus of Tyre's longitude of 225 degrees for the east coast of the Magnus Sinus. This resulted in a considerable eastward advancement of the longitudes given by Martin Baheim and other contemporaries of Columbus. By some process Columbus reasoned that the longitudes of Eastern Asia and Si Peng U respectively were about 270 and 300 degrees east, or 90 and 60 degrees west of the Canary Islands. He said that he had sailed 1,100 leagues from the Canaries when he found Cuba in 1492. This was approximately where he thought the coast of Eastern Asia would be found. On this basis of calculation he identified Hispaniola with Si Peng U, which he had expected to find on the outward voyage at a distance of about 700 leagues from the Canaries. His later voyages resulted in further exploration of Cuba and in the discovery of South and Central America. At first South America, the Mundus Nova was considered to be a great island of continental proportions, but as a result of his fourth voyage, it was apparently considered to be identical with the great upper India peninsula represented by Baha'im, the Cape of Katagera. This seems to be the best interpretation of the sketch map made by Alessandro Zorzi on the advice of Bartholomew Columbus around 1506, which bears as an inscription saying that according to the ancient geographer Marinus of Tyre and Christopher Columbus the distance from Cape Street, Vincent on the coast of Portugal to Catagera on the peninsula of India Superior was 225 degrees, while according to Ptolemy the same distance was 180 degrees. Early Modern Ottoman Empire 
prior to the 16th century knowledge of geography in the Ottoman Empire was limited in scope, with almost no access to the works of earlier Islamic scholars that superseded Ptolemy. His geography would again be translated and updated with commentary into Arabic under Mehmed II, who commissioned works from Byzantine scholar Georgia Mirazzi's in 1465 and the Florentine humanist Francesco Berlinguieri in 1481. Gallery. Dot 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 dot. Citations.